Titrations can be used to calculate the concentration of acids. Here's our hydrochloric acid of unknown concentration. Using a pipette, we add a 25 cm cubed sample to a conical flask. We then take our alkali, sodium hydroxide, of known concentration and add it to a burette using a funnel. By taking note of the starting and final volume, we can see exactly how much alkali was added to neutralize our sample. Our alkali is now ready to neutralize our acid. But first, we add several drops of indicator, such as phenothaline, which will turn pink when the acid has been neutralized. Starting with a rough titration, we add the alkali from the burette until we see a color change, showing that the acid has been neutralized. We take note of the rough volume for our accurate titration. This time we stop short of neutralization and then add the alkali drop by drop until it turns pink. This improves the accuracy for the final volume. When we get several similar results within 0.1 cm cubed, we take a mean volume for our final calculation. Let's say we got 43.5 cm cubed. So how do we use this result to calculate the concentration of our acid? Well, we know that the exact volume of alkali added was 43.5 cm cubed or 0.0435 dm3, and the known concentration was 0.1 moles per dm3. So we can calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide in the solution as 0.00435 moles. Now, according to the chemical equation for the reaction, exactly one mole of alkali is needed to neutralize every one mole of acid. So there must have also been 0.00435 moles of acid in our 25 centimeter cubed or 0.025 decimeter cubed sample. And now the concentration of the acid is simply the number of moles divided by the volume. This gives a concentration of 0.174 moles per decimeter cubed. So that's how to calculate the concentration of an acid using a titration. Please like and subscribe for more science content.